In this demonstration, we show how to create a personal dashboard for the projects. From the main page, simply click on the Home icon. This shows a default dashboard. The default dashboard only contains just a few items, welcome screen, instructions on how to customize a dashboard, and projects that you're assigned to. We can create another type of dashboard Click on All Personal Dashboards, and this shows everyone's dashboard. We can create a new dashboard from here. Click on Create Dashboard. This allows us to create a dashboard using one of the built-in templates for a given project. We've already configured dashboard templates in the consortium planning project. We'll select Change in Configuration Management, which is a name for the team concert system. Click Next. Select the Consortium Planning Project. Click Finish. This then loads up the new dashboard based on the template that we have configured in the Consortium Planning Project. From here, we can do a couple of things. First off, recommend that you set this as your default dashboard. Click on the button here. You'll get a message to ask if you are sure you want to save this as your default dashboard. Click Yes or OK. Now, every time you click the Home button, this will bring up this specific dashboard. We can now add additional content onto our dashboard. We can start by adding a new tab. Clicking on the plus sign will add a new tab. Note that there's no widgets that are added by default. To add a widget, click the Add Widget link. Widgets are organized by catalogs. The catalogs are named after the systems that they are running on top of. So for example, Change and Configuration Management is a team concert catalog. Quality Management is a Rational Quality Manager catalog. Requirements Management is a Doors Next Generation Requirements Management catalog. We'll select Change and Configuration Management. We can pull widgets from any catalog that we wish. In this example, I'm going to pull from the CCM catalog. Widgets are organized by category to make it easier to find. Let's select work items. There's many different work item widgets. They are organized alphabetically. Click Next down here at the bottom to iterate through the different pages of widgets. If you want to show a query, a work item query on the dashboard, you can use the work items widget. We'll select this. When you click add, it adds it to the tab that you've created. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the work items down below. We can now close the widget selection dialog. And now we can select which query we want to open. Note that you can get to the settings from the widget menu. Click on the widget menu and then go to settings to bring this up. Now we'll select a query. We can select queries from other project areas. In this example, we're only going to select the consortium project. Queries are organized by who they're shared by. If they're shared with the entire project, they will be listed under predefined queries. Queries that you've created and not shared with anyone are listed under My Queries. Queries that are assigned to only one given team are listed by the team area. If you shared a task with a specific person or someone has shared it with you, you'll see it listed under Queries Shared by Others. Lifecycle queries cross all three projects to show the life cycle of work items across the software development life cycle. I'm going to select a query that I have already created that I have not shared with anyone. Here I'll select the this particular work item query. We can choose additional icons such as priority for example 
the icons will show in the widget itself as a separate icon to the left. We'll show you in just a second how that works. We'll go ahead and click on OK. And now we can see that additional icon that I selected, in this case the priority. We can see that it's a defect, and we can see the priority by the image. Yellow for medium, red for high. If I want to go into the query itself, simply click on the link. Remember, you can right-click and open a link in a new tab. Here is the entire query in its own tab. We can also name our tab. We can also organize our widgets in layout. Here I could select a two column layout. Other things that we can do, we can also change the appearance by selecting the widget menu, then appearance. We can give it a relative color. Here I've selected purple. 